In the late 1980s, two brothers, Thomas and John Knoll, embarked on a journey that would revolutionize the way we see and interact with images. Thomas, a PhD student, crafted a program called Display to view grayscale images on his monitor. John, a visual effects artist, saw the potential and encouraged Thomas to develop it further. The brothers collaborated tirelessly, adding features like color editing and image manipulation tools. In 1988, Photoshop caught the eye of Russell Brown, art director at Adobe Systems. Brown convinced Adobe to license the software. In 1990, Adobe Photoshop 1.0 was released, forever changing the landscape of digital imaging. Photoshop 1.0 was a revelation providing graphic designers, photographers, and artists with unprecedented control over their images. One of Photoshop's earliest adopters was John's wife, Linda Weinman, a digital artist. Her work showcased the creative possibilities of this revolutionary software. Word of mouth spread quickly. Design schools integrated Photoshop into their curriculum. Magazines like Macworld and Publish raved about its capabilities. Photographers marveled at the freedom Photoshop offered. The Knoll Brothers and Adobe continue to refine and expand its capabilities, setting the stage for groundbreaking updates. As Photoshop evolved, so did its impact on the creative world. Version 3.0, released in 1994, introduced layers, allowing users to manipulate individual elements independently. Masks, arriving in version 4.0, allowed for precise editing of specific areas within an image. These innovations transformed Photoshop into a full-fledged creative powerhouse. Artists, designers, and photographers now had the tools to fully realize their visions. Magazines and newspapers began to feature digitally manipulated images. Advertisers embraced Photoshop's ability to create eye-catching visuals. The line between reality and digital creation began to blur, ushering in a new era of visual communication. By the late 1990s, Photoshop had become a cultural phenomenon. The term photoshopped entered the lexicon, describing everything from altered magazine covers to humorous images online. Movies and TV shows used Photoshop extensively for visual effects. The software's ability to blend reality with imagination captured the public's imagination. Photoshop became a tool for self-expression, social commentary, and political activism. Artists used it to create thought-provoking works that challenge perceptions of beauty and identity. Photoshop had become more than just software. It had become a cultural force. The new millennium saw Photoshop continue its relentless pace of innovation. Version 7.0, released in 2002, introduced the Healing Brush, indispensable for retouchers and photographers. Adobe expanded Photoshop's capabilities with 3D tools and advanced digital painting features. Artists could create stunning 3D models and photorealistic artwork. The rise of digital photography and social media fueled the demand for powerful image editing tools. Adobe responded by releasing Photoshop Elements for hobbyists and casual users. Social media platforms relied heavily on visually compelling content, solidifying Photoshop's position as an essential tool. Today, Photoshop stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and technology. What began as a simple image editing program has evolved into an indispensable tool used by millions worldwide. Its impact on art, design, photography, and visual culture is immeasurable. From magazines to movies and video games, Photoshop's fingerprints are everywhere. It has democratized creativity, empowering individuals to manipulate and enhance images. 
while new software and apps have emerged, Photoshop remains the industry standard. Its vast array of features and constant evolution ensure its continued relevance. Photoshop's legacy is about empowering creativity and shaping the way we see and interact with the visual world. That is all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, subscribe for more photo editing tips like this, and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.